Lately, I've been trying to use a microwave to debind and center for metal parts, primarily aluminum parts, which are especially difficult because of its reactive nature. I was able to achieve some success with a smaller crucible that I made, but with this larger crucible, it has proven a little bit challenging. Over the last several days, though, I've been trying to benchmark this to achieve better results, mainly focusing on perfecting a debind cycle in the microwave which I feel like I'm fairly close to. These coasters are actually modular heat collectors, which have silicon carbide embedded within them. Benchmarking the ramp rate at which the microwave can heat is critical for understanding a debind and center phase. To the touch, these parts feel hard. However, I've been fighting porosity and understanding what a proper center cycle looks like for aluminum. Like I mentioned before, I achieved early success, however I'm also not certain that this wasn't in part due to some alloying effect with zinc. I've been trying to rule that out though by using only 100% pure ballast. There are a lot of factors though at play here, so unfortunately I cannot give a verdict on that yet. Small sections of the parts I've been doing do feel very strong and polish well but it's inconsistent right now. But this might just be because I haven't quite dialed in my new kiln size yet. Temperature readings seem to be looking appropriate, but there seems to be some serious hot spots that I haven't quite addressed yet. I may have to take a second look at the heat collectors, probably increasing the size. Anyway, this was just a quick update video, and I'll be posting my debind and center cycles at the end here. Cheers, and hope some people find some use out of this.